How's everybody doing? It's Paul from Magpie 24 7 back again with another view from the van out hard at Graft, but doing so uh, with a smile and a realization that finally, finally, Lee Charney has found Mike Ashley's fucking checkbook. Not that he's actually putting any fucking money into the club, mind, that's a separate argument. But finally, the club's checkbook has been located. And uh, yeah, we are writing a check to the sum of around £20 million to bring in a certain Joe Willick. And I, for one, am absolutely over the moon. Does this solve all the problems in the squad? Of course it fucking doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Are we any better than last season? Probably not, you would argue. You'd probably say that we were still slightly worse off when you look at the likes of Andy Carroll not being here. Uh, and options being reduced. However, uh, it was nice to see Dwight Gale get uh, a brace against Norwich. He certainly looked a lot lively, not livelier in that game than I have seen him in years. Uh, quality finishes, I must uh, say as well, but hopefully he will be a player who benefits from having his first pre-season since I think 2018. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that that does him the world of good and we've got somebody who can come off the bench and cover for Callum Wilson when need be, who knows where the net is. And he certainly showed that in the championship, but back to the main point of the video today is Newcastle signing Joe Willick for £20 million. And when you look at some of the absolutely fucking crazy uh, amounts being dished out, even you, you likes of your Grealish, uh, who stats when you compare them to somebody even like a James Milner? Yeah, I mean he's a, he's a good player, he's a great player, no doubt about it. But but a hundred million pound, the world has gone absolutely fucking crazy. There's players getting signed for forty million here, there, and everywhere, and we got this lad for twenty million pound plus no doubt a few add-ons on top to push it probably near at twenty-five million in total. But you know to initially pull out twenty million pound when you consider. You know everything that's going off. Um, I think is a is a masterstroke, and it's uh, kudos to the club for finally doing what they should have done weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Um, and that is sort of deal out for Joe Willick. And uh, if rumour is to be believed, he is up in the northeast. He is going to be signing um, probably sometime tomorrow officially, maybe towards the end of tomorrow, or Wednesday morning. Uh, medicals booked, arranged, all that remains is his contract which shouldn't hopefully be too much of an issue, too much of a problem. People speculating that the money that we're uh, getting in for Adam Armstrong because of the 40% sell-on has made a, a difference. People speculating that the money that Mike actually pocketed off the PIF, the £17 million deposit that was held uh, with Newcastle, you know, so they could access the data room, combined with our £10 million uh, transfer budget we are literally splurging blowing the lot on Joe Willick and I think it's it's uh, it's worthwhile doing you know um, I think 20 million pound for a lad who's 21 who has prospects and probably um, visions of, of doing well in an England shirt even uh, you know, you think about the premium that you play for young British talented players you look at the goal scoring what he went on last season and why I don't think that's it's not possible to continue that level of um, goal scoring on. He offers you something totally, totally different and he complements the midfield well. Um, you know, if you look at what we've got, him and Isaac Hayden, you know, Arsenal becoming a conveyor belt for Newcastle United is absolutely uh, stunken. You know, we got uh, Hayden for what, two and a half million pounds back in the day. Uh, we've got Joe Willick for 20, so for what, 22 and a half million pound or so, plus a bit, a little bit of shrapnel afterwards. Uh, we've got two players who are fantastic in my eyes. Hayden, uh, very you know, defensive minded, professional, dogged, determined, uh, you're real, you know, brave, put your body on the line type sort of a player. You've got Joe Willick who can arrive into the box late, who can go and drive and run, he's uh, athletic. He scores goals, he links up well, um, you know, with other players around, so he's, he's a good uh, option to have. You've got John Joe Shelby, uh, he can spray a ball around when he is in the uh, right mood, um, 
you know he's got the range of passing so again that complements um complements and offers something again slightly different to what everybody else has got also um you know on top of the long staffs who are probably falling more and more down the pecking order each and every day that goes by sadly to say to be honest uh, but certainly with regards to Hayden and Joe Willick I'm, I'm more than impressed I'm more than pleased with the prospect of those two playing together uh, a bit of an ex-Arsenal bromance going and obviously as well looking forward to seeing the ASM and Willick link up obviously ASM has been very vocal in saying that the club should be going for players like uh, Joe Willick and also as well something that's probably gone a little bit by the wayside at the moment but uh, you know in, in signing Joe Willick for cash uh, and he's supposed to be coming in on a six year uh, contract a six, six year deal um, that still leaves our two loan spots open and available talking about Ross Barkley possibly being one of them and then uh, a ball playing centre back which may be Vickers from, uh, from Spurs I think he was on loan at Bournemouth last season um, so yeah plenty to keep our eyes on plenty I think to start to look forward to and um, you know we, we've just got to go into the season and hope that uh, we can get Joe Willick registered in time we can have a positive uh, performance up and you know three points against West Ham would do absolutely fine and dandy um, so yeah if we can start the game start the season in a positive way get three points we've got Joe Willick make one or two other loan signings if that's all we can do uh, there's some good quality free transfers out there Jeffro Williams is still about Solomon Rondon is believed to be available on a free transfer so hopefully Newcastle are active and we need to be active Joe Willick is a fantastic start but that's all it is we need to build on it um, and we need to get a little bit of positivity back about the club because the, no doubt the takeover, the Ashley thing, the fact that he's still there, Charlie, Bruce um, and so on and so forth has really dragged the life force out of the fan, blade, you know, fan base. So there's, there's no doubt that this particular deal uh, has, has been met with an absolute fanfare from everybody of a black and white persuasion. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at the uh, message board from Arsenal. I've seen quite a few Arsenal uh, fans who are quite perplexed on how they're selling so cheaply. Why they're letting will it go when they've got shortages uh, in the um, midfield area and stuff like that, and they've not signed all the players that they want to sign and stuff. Um, but me, for one second, I just selfishly thinking totally about Newcastle, and I think this is a fantastic signing for us you know we have screamed out for quality in this area since Johan Kabai left we haven't had anybody like this and just for his athleticism his speed his determination and this lad at 21 to me is only going to get better and better and better so yeah all the cryptic clues the two butterflies that he's put on uh, his Arsenal pictures rebirth and all that you know what I mean uh, he wasn't involved in the friendly against Spurs Arteta was really really coy about that he was like look I can't talk about it when the time is right we will speak about it and that is you know, totally right it's respectful to Newcastle because it's up to Newcastle to announce it and Newcastle to, to push it through one or two little rumours from just um, I, I don't know just people who just want to stir the pot, I think, and shit stir a bit, saying that he, he's been holding back on the deal to see if anybody else was going to come in for her. Look, I would be absolutely gobsmacked if somebody was scored the amount of goals he did and the appearances that he did. And he was outshining every other midfielder in the Premier League last season if he didn't get attention. But at the end of the day, I think he's just caught the bug. I, I think he's been taken aback by how the Geordie Nation just opened the hearts to him uh, and, and how he is the main one of the main men at Newcastle so he's come from just being a, a small fish in a big pond at Arsenal to coming to Newcastle uh, and being the real deal the centre of attention um, and having everybody's um, you know best I think he's took a lot of criticism uh, when he's been at Arsenal he's been please being a Let's face it, a bit part player, you know, he's, he's had Thursday nights, he's had the odd, odd cup runs and this, that and the other, but various managers have never really trusted him, 
Steve Bruce has put his um, his faith in Joe Willick, and Joe Willick has uh, you know totally and utterly repaid him uh, so many times over. And I'm just thinking about the likes of you know goals against Liverpool and stuff. And it's going to be strange because this season he'll be able to play against Arsenal and show them. And he's going to be so hungry. He seems so determined, so hungry, so keen. To um, to show everybody what he is made of, and uh, it's fantastic that he's going to be doing that at Newcastle United. Everything pretty much uh, agreed. Uh, I will say for for the club, yeah, it's fantastic. It's it's brilliant, and they should milk it, and they will milk it for much, as much as they can. Um, fans left, right, centre are like right. I'm waiting before buying the shirt because I want to know what shirt he's going to be getting. Uh, and, and you know. The fans who have been through this shit with regards to this takeover, the battle with the Premier League, uh, everything else, all the baggage that comes with it. We deserve a moment of just like, yes, this is what we should be doing all of the time. This should be pretty standard for a size club like Newcastle. It really should be. But, you know, uh, it isn't. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to enjoy this one we really are and uh, I can't wait until he's pausing with the new shirt with, his, with the number 4 on the front I don't know what number is going to be going on the back of course uh, looking forward to finding that out really shortly let's hope and pray he's involved in the game at the weekend he hasn't played many minutes for Arsenal uh, over the course of pre-season it has been a shortened pre-season etc uh, but I think he'll be fit and raring to go. He looks, uh, you know, absolutely spot on. I've seen all the videos from the Arsenal supporters. You know, they've done compilation videos from when he was a kid, uh, making his way through and everything. And I think a lot of them just genuinely wish him nothing but the best. He's one of theirs. He's a local lad who's come up through the youth system, uh, and it just hasn't worked out for him for various reasons. Uh, I think as a club, I think they just prefer. Um, and certainly the managers prefer a big name signing as opposed to somebody coming up through the ranks and stuff we benefited once before by Isaac Hayden we look to be benefiting once more uh, by Joe Willick and who knows who knows what the uh, you know what the future will hold I mean that that is a, a good <laughs> it's a good avenue to open up uh, you know players from uh, you know players from the Arsenal and everything so yeah, fingers crossed. Who do you think now, with still the two loan options available, who do you think that the club will go for? Uh, obviously the lad uh, from Manchester United, the centre back, he's gone to Aston Villa. I always suspected that, I always felt that that was probably what he'd end up doing. Uh, so we will be reunited with him very, very shortly, won't we, because we play them. Tickets have gone on sale today for the Villa away game. The Cabbage Head Derby, as it should be uh, proclaimed. Um, they've gone on sale today but uh, yeah just reacting to the Joe Willock thing brilliant news for Newcastle finally Newcastle spending some money we are the last club to do so in the Premier League uh, it's a great beginning we need to see a little bit more please we need to see uh, I still think some striking um, some striking reinforcements are desperately needed Um Bruce still wants to bring in some more, I think, central midfield uh, firepower. Barkley, could you see a Barkley and Willie combination doing well, along with Isaac Hayden? Well, we have to change our formation a little bit. Uh, does Ryan Fraser still come into the, uh, you know, into the system and into the middle? Because obviously he's been experimented there, hasn't he, for pre-season and has looked good. So there's loads and loads of questions. But uh, yeah, for the day. We just celebrate some positive news for a change from the football club. Joe Willick is coming back to the club, £20 million on a six-year contract. Happy days. Happy, happy days. Enjoy these moments whilst we can. Uh, because, like I say, I was convinced that we were going to be at the bottom. But this, this sort of signing just gives you that little bit of hope of what if we can push a little bit further up. Can we get nearer to mid-table? Uh, and, you know, can we... It's the age-old question I've asked for 40 years. Um, 
can we do something in the cups you never know but yeah it just gives you a little bit more straight spring in your step a little bit more hope and believe ahead of this uh, opener against west ham at the weekend anyway as soon as it becomes official as soon as we get pictures we'll bring it to here on magpie 24 7 of course and in the meantime take care keep it tuned and i'll speak to you later